Senior profiles continue on GoGrizz.com. We catch up with the Missoula native Zach Peavy now. And Zach, we're down to the final couple of games in your career, in your Grizzly season here. Has it dawned on you yet? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm aware of it, but I'm just kind of hanging on to everything I got left right now, you know, trying to make it in the playoffs and uh, just keep this ride going. Take us through the roller coaster, at least of this season, ups and the downs. Obviously, team playing great, having that tough two-game road stretch and then getting back on track, and, and hopefully that's the kind of performance we see here down the stretch. Yeah, you know, we fought, we're fighting some adversity right now, but, um, you know, we're a tough team and we're, we're sticking together. So uh, we're just, you know, playing every, every game, one game at a time, and seeing where that takes us. For you growing up, what was Grizzly football like for you? Uh, how many games did you come to? And what was Grizzly history like in your life before you even got to high school? Oh, before I got to high school, man, we, we try and get to the games as many times, you know, as many as we could. Uh, I probably missed a few here and there, but for the most part, I made, made them all in middle school. When I wasn't away in um, high school football, I'd make them to the Saturday games. And, uh, geez, it was it was a lot, man. There's a lot of talk about Grizz football growing up, and uh, it was fun to be a part of that. And for the community as well. I mean, can you can you put it into words what it's like for you to be on the outside then, of course, coming in and being a player and what this community means to Grizzly football, both as a player and both uh, before you got here? I mean, it's surreal. I, I didn't really picture myself even playing uh, college football until, you know, deeper in high school. I mean, I always thought about it, but I, it's, it's, it's really surreal playing here now, watching some of the greats go through back, back in the day, and uh, I'm just blessed to be a part of it, and yeah, it's, it's really crazy. We'll get through your high school football as well as your recruiting here in a second, but I want to talk about the other sports you excelled in, basketball and tennis. I think a lot of people probably look at you right now from when you've grown, of course, since you've gotten to college, and you can't probably picture that. Uh, what was your tennis career like? Tennis was good, man. I, I had a lot of fun. Uh, coming as a freshman in high school, my brother was a senior, uh, leader of the tennis team, and it was just a bunch of athletes out there running around, having fun, and uh, learning a new game. Uh, I credit a lot of my agility, even at this size, to uh, tennis. You know, got a couple state championships in there as a team, and uh, first team all state, so humble brag. Not bad at all. Do you still play a little bit of tennis? I haven't gotten out in two years, but it's like riding a bike. It'll take me, it'll take me a week to get back into it, and I'm sure I'll be playing when I skinny up here soon. What's the scouting report on Zach Peavy's tennis game? Is it a strong serve game, you return? What, what's it about here? My, my first serve percentage is low, but it's, it's really hard. And then if I get to the net, man, it's, it's smash. It's a smash run away. So watch out. <laughs> and then your basketball career as well, very successful there. And, and probably a point you maybe thought college basketball was maybe in your future as well. Yeah, I had some looks at NAI in uh, lower schools, but uh, – I got, uh, I got told a lot that I look like a football player, and I kind of ran with that. And So basketball goes out the window when the Grizz start recruiting you for football. Yeah. So with that being said, when did the Grizzlies start recruiting you, and when did your high school career really maybe take off football-wise? Uh, late junior year and early senior year, I got some looks um, from the you know, Techs and the, the, the Carroll-esque schools. And, uh, and then Coach Delaney gave me a look um, early in senior year of high school, and he, you know, he said he might have some money for me, and I – I just appreciate him holding his holding his word and you know offering me that that fall. How much have you grown both on and off the playing field uh, as your time as a Montana Grizzly the last couple of years? A uh, tremendous amount. You know, I've grown as a not only as a you know a, a, a football player, a student, uh, a community member, but as a man, I've grown the most. I think uh, just just learning a lot of you know core values that that football brings and that um, the Grizz the Grizz way brings. Being a community member, like you just talked about, the toy drive that you just had that you were a part of here uh, this last weekend, tell us about it and how you got involved in the turnout. I just knew Ryan Burke was ahead of it last year, and um, I wanted to do something to help out, you know, the community I grew up in. And I think that's a really good way to give back is just your time and your efforts. And uh, we got another, you know, <laughs> another toy drive coming for the cat game uh, in a couple of weeks. So come out and support that. Have you taken more of a vocal leader role this year, especially as a senior, as this year's progressed and you can kind of count on one hand maybe the times you have left on the field to take more of a vocal role? Yeah, it just kind of comes out, you know, and you see the, the, the light at the end of the tunnel narrowing down a little bit and you just want to do everything you can and um, help these guys um, go as far as we can. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best with some other senior guys out here. Have you thought about life after football yet? I know it's probably tough, especially now, but have you thought about what it might be like? Um, life after football is going to be skinnier, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to work out often. And, uh, you know, I'm just look for a job. You know, I've, I've really enjoyed my last couple semesters of schooling, and 
narrowed it down in the business management field. And so whatever happens, happens. Um, have, you, have you caught yourself, Zach, at least looking at maybe a certain aspect of your daily routine or your weekly routine as a player and going, boy, I'm really going to miss this and want to cherish it a little bit more here? First off, this, this, this structure. Uh, you, you wake up in the morning, your day is laid out to, to every five minutes. You know, I know where I'm going. It's, it's easy. And then the next thing is the locker room, man. Uh, I have every vi every video picture on my phone is just us messing around in the locker room. It's just all memories come from that place, being out here with the guys. It's Yeah, I, I'm not trying to think about it right now, but I'll miss that a lot. Senior leader Zach Peavy, of course, anchoring the defensive front. We'll have more senior profiles here on GoGrizz.com next week.